Salome Kanji has been mentoring teachers for seven years. We caught up with her for a grade one shared reading lesson at the Bad Mobile Primary School in Attridgeville, Chwane. Emily Dubizana is an experienced grade one teacher, and over the course of 15 years, she's built up a vast collection of teaching resources. Through her nurturing relationship with her mentor, she continually improves those skills. <laughs> Thank you very much for allowing me into your classroom. And how did your lesson go? It was well presented, but it was too long. Most of my learners were so tired. They lost the concentration along the way. But I did my magics to, to get hold of their attention again. What was your magic? Salapant, Sugum, Salapant, Sugum, Salapant, Sugum, Salapant, Sugulene. Throughout the whole presentation, they were so disciplined, which means your 16 year experience really work. Another thing that I liked, at least there was one child who was bathing and then you did sing for the child. That is so wonderful because some of the kids don't have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. No one will sing for them even when they get home. The first thing that we look at, we look at the classroom. What is running short is the picture on the door. Remember, there must be a name and the picture on the door for identification. Should I have the picture next to my name? It must be your name, your same name, the class number, and mm. then the picture. When I get into the classroom, mm -hmm. I look into the layout of the of your classroom. The first thing that I realize is mm -hmm. the the seating arrangement. All learners in foundation phase must face the chalkboard. If we don't do that, every time you're doing something on the chalkboard, they'll have to turn their heads. So it is very important for those learners to always face the front. The way the weather chart is structured, it is not easy for visualization because you must have a chart where you have got a sign of a sun. If it's sunny, they take the picture and put it on the weather chart. Okay, let me applaud you on the tables. All the tables have got numbers, number mm -hmm. charts, mm -hmm. and they have got alphabets and names. And that's very important. Your duty chart. I wonder if you're really utilizing it. The learners, they don't want you to do their duty, some of them. Hence, I'm changing them. The ones who are near me are the ones who will do their duties. Make sure that each and every child get an opportunity to be responsible in the classroom. You must know that maybe 
I might be good in leadership. This is a period where we're developing that. So as such, my advice would be, to, like, their name stays there for at least two weeks. If and every child must be given two weeks to do something in the classroom. What about the distribution of books? We we'll have to have boxes with names. Mm -hmm. You have got four rows. You choose mm -hmm. four learners. Mm -hmm. They need to do associative learning. They need to look at the name on the table and then give the book to the relevant learner. Remember, Dupsi, we are not given an opportunity to write on the chalkboard. Caps doesn't give time for that. I usually show them by writing, demonstrating how to write those days and even the month. For handwriting, you can do that. But when you're doing shared reading, your emphasis is about reading. You must use flat cards for words, strips for sentences. Have the read, even the dates ready for the sake of saving time. Mm. If you really want to write on the chalkboard, do it a day before or before the period starts. They sang for, for a very long time. When they sing a rhyme, when they do a rhyme, remember even if the rhyme is relevant to your teaching, mm. you look at your time. If it, they can do it only for two minutes, it will be okay. I saw them, some of them, they were so bored now. Hence, I was trying to get their attention. You can come up with any strategy. Mm. It doesn't mean they must sing all the time. Maybe the pants, or maybe say, stand up like you were doing, stand up. Mm. Okay, sit down, stand up, sit down. And then you continue again. Shared reading is only for 15 minutes. Umama wake wati umbono omuse lo. You cannot go over that because you still have some other subject to deal with. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I've learned a lot from you. Pleasure, Dupsi. I'm very proud to have a teacher like you, Dupsi. I know that those letters can read, can write, and I'm very happy about that. Keep up the good work. We will meet again so that I can see if you have implemented whatever we have discussed. <laughs>
ikhaya abantwana bami ne sibona nani futhi Hi Emily how Hi. do you feel today I'm very happy and excited Salome and how do you find your classroom layout Oh my classroom is wow it's very beautiful What changes did you make starting from outside the classroom Oh have you seen my my door Salome it's so beautiful it got my name and even a big cat picture inside my classroom. There are boxes for all the subjects. I've used different colors, so I've labeled them all according to the subject. So they are visible and big enough for all the learners to see them. And then what happened to your walls in the classrooms? Oh, my walls are divided into colors now according to the subject. So the learners, they know that that color is for the C Zulu, that color is for maths, and that color is for English, and then they can be able to read whatever that is on the wall. Learners in distributing books and pencils, what's going on now? Those are my group leaders. They are of great help to me. They make my work to become easier. They know what to do. They distribute work and they save time for teaching. Last time you didn't have a duty list. Now I saw it on the wall. How does it help you? First, save time a lot. They know what they're supposed to do, the learners in class, and they become more responsible. I was very impressed by your weather chart, the way you introduced the weather chart. How do you feel about it? Salo, it was short, sweet, and simple. In your classroom, I saw learners' bags well arranged. Where did you get that? It was just my idea. It works a lot because the group leaders are working there. They make sure that the learners put their bags neatly. And then when we do some activity in classroom, they just take their bags and put them next to where they are sitting. I have seen that you have improved your birthday chart. It's now bigger and even learners' names are Bigger. How do you tell us that birthday chart? Every day they check who's birthdaying and then they can't wait to, to sing for that particular learner. And then they will even tell you that tomorrow it's my birthday, man. They are now using it effectively. They, yeah, they are using it effectively. Beso kambu mbala onjani? Oshazo wespagapa. Afagi itilo zaabo ngapagati kwa matafula. How was you starting off your lesson today? Because last time you did it differently. I started by discussing a picture. While the learners were naming the object in the picture, I used the arrows to show those objects. As the learners were giving me what they see in the picture, I kept on putting all the names on the chart. Inja ineka mapendo. Ika malayo uspout. Ubani kamalenja? Uspout. Ubani kamalenja? Uspout. Ika malenja. Na uspout. Na uspout. Then I started reading. As I was reading to the learners, I paused to see if they understand the story. Ngika banga. Ukuti, usipoti, uyinja. Gikabanga, ukuti, usipoti, uyinja. Let's look at the corners. Your reading corner needs to be developed. You need to have a table where you'll be having books according to different levels of the learners. And those books must be accessible to the learners, which means it must be easier for the learners to get a book and read on their own at any time. Is that okay? okay. Another, another corner mm -hmm. that you must develop is the life skill corner. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's rotational. It changes according to the concept of the week that you will be given according to the lesson plan. So the things that must be on that corner must be relevant for that week. For instance, learners are being taught about the wild 
animals. You can ask your learners to bring some animal toys and display them on that table. You know, I've learned a lot from you, Salome. With this information, my learners have gained so much. Thank you for your suggestions. You're welcome. I think you have come to an end, and thank you for your, your passion that you have for your classroom. Thank you very much.